Before we start with a formal introduction to blockchain, let us take you for a moment to a possible future applications that should realize sooner than we expect. Say you're on a vacation outside your home country at a shopping mall and you receive a notification saying there is a sale on the luxurious watches. You have not been to that mall before and going there for the first time. You pick up a watch and you wonder if the watch is genuine and worth the price. You start a mobile application and place it on the watch. The application recognizes the watch and displays the complete life cycle of the watch, like where and when it was manufactured, its GPS coordinates, what parts make up the watch, where it was designed, who was the dealer, custom clearance certificate, what is the warranty period, how much custom duty you need to pay if any if you're bringing this watch back to your home country, and even showing and comparing similar watches. You purchase a watch based on these details and now you feel even more connected to the watch brand and establish a trust factor with that shopping mall on selling genuine products. Take another example. You need to transfer money overseas. You open a mobile application, provide the beneficiary mobile number and money is transferred instantly. You can even select the different transfer rates from multiple providers, view their ratings and choose one of them. You now have full control on how you can move your money across the globe without any central authority. Another example could be say you're heading back to the airport and receive a message on your messenger. The message gets blocked instantly. The messenger classifies this as the fake news. You're saved from distraction and you could later check why the message was blocked. So far we talked about consumer applications. Let's take an example of a complex B2B process like an international trade finance, which currently takes days to complete the trade process. If the entire workflow is automated, self-regulated and equipped with enough consensus between various parties carrying out the trade, it can provide a window of opportunity for new buyers and sellers to handshake, implement and execute trade seamlessly with a lot of trust and confidence. In all the scenario that we described earlier, and possibly in all our future applications, data would be a central point for businesses, consumers, and even systems. For businesses, data and its state would be used to establish trust and compliance between parties and for optimizing the business. For consumers, it would be providing a better experience, personalized engagements, and even authenticity of data, be it for news, price, or any event. For systems, data could be crucial to establish the trust and compliance for autonomous functionality between devices in a connected world. Now in a data-driven world, you need to establish trust and compliance between parties. You need governance, regulation and accountability through automated workflow and digital contracts rather than central authority and finally a piece of technology that can enable to realize all this. Once these basic parameters are enabled, it opens endless opportunities to move any value from services to digital assets across the network in a secure and transparent way. The technology enabler that can aid in realizing this opportunity is blockchain. We view blockchain as an enabler to provide consensus of data. The consensus can be between business to business, business to consumer or consumer to consumer. We call blockchain an enabler as blockchain alone will not lead to realizing the opportunities we talked about earlier. The combinatorial power of blockchain, smart contracts and technologies like IoT and artificial intelligence would enable to deliver value-driven intelligent applications. While we described our vision, we are probably at the first generation of blockchain implementation where technologies are still evolving and use cases are being realized. So what you will learn in this course? We will depict a vendor neutral architecture that will enable us to develop blockchain based applications. We will then look at two major implementations, Ethereum and IBM Hyperledger Fabric. With Ethereum, we'll show you how to build a crowdfunding application using digital fuel called Ethers. 
We will also look at topics like extension to Ethereum blockchain, integration, and future of smart contracts. With IBM Hyperledger Fabric, we will talk about its architecture and enterprise capabilities. And we'll also show you how to build a sample trade finance application using the Fabric platform.